A deadly arrest in the North Bay. A man suspected of firing shots around a neighborhood dies while being restrained by officers. I think they had a lot of patience with him. Um, he was running around for like about a good five minutes with the brick in his hand. Neighbors say the man died after a fierce struggle with police. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Maybach in tonight for Frank Somerville. This happened on Peach Court in southwest Santa Rosa early this morning. New at 10, KTV's Deborah Villalone live at the police department with surveillance video shared by witnesses. Deborah. Mike, witnesses say the man was tased more than once to subdue him, but after he was on the ground, he stopped breathing. Gunshots captured on home surveillance, waking people up on Santa Rosa's Peach Court just after 1 a.m., alarmed to see the shooter darting around their yards. You never saw him before? Mm. Don't recognize him? No. 911 calls brought Santa Rosa police to the cul-de-sac. Hey, get on the ground! Get on the ground now! By that time, the man had dropped the rifle, but had picked up heavy landscape brick and rock also pulling pathway lights from the ground in agitation. He was yelling this and, you know, just, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And that's all I heard. Do it. Yeah, that's not true. By the time that the cops were outside, I mean, everyone in the neighborhood was out. So at some point, I think he charged that uh, an officer and, you know, the officer tased him. Angela Ortiz watched from her front window and heard the sound of tasers as the man continued to resist in the street. About four, four or five cops, you know, on top of him trying to get him down. He was still yelling even on the floor. So he was yelling, screaming. Moments later, police say, handcuffed and rolled on his side, the man stopped breathing and could not be resuscitated. That sealed off Peach Court for much of the day for the death investigation. There was a long rifle. Uh, located with some suspected drug paraphernalia or some drugs at the scene. Sonoma County Sheriff's detectives will lead the case. They will be doing an autopsy and a tox report to hopefully shed some light on what type of medical emergency he had. Casings were recovered and at least one vehicle took a bullet. No longer drivable, but Ortiz is just glad it was her car and not one of her neighbors hit. And I was really scared, so I just wanted them to get control of him. I couldn't even imagine if it was during the day and little kids were playing outside and he was running around doing that. The man who died is identified as 40-year-old Jordan Poss, who has family in the area, but not on that particular street. Now, in the next few days, Santa Rosa police will release the body-worn camera video, plus the names and ranks of at least four officers involved. Julie? Deborah Villalone in Santa Rosa for us tonight. Deborah, thank you.